pissed off. We need to talk about We're that. Married. We just got married. Wait, show. I think in one year, Steven, we will look back and love this day. I think so. This day has been nothing but joy. Hey, we having fun yet, Shane? We're having some fun. Yeah, that was the good one. Love you. Also, I love you, Steven. in your word that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and we are all here proclaiming that Stephen has found a good thing. 
We pray that you would bless this marriage and empower Stephen and Gracie by your spirit to submit to you with their whole selves. Assist them, Lord, with your grace, that they may honor and keep the promises and vows that they will make. We can do nothing apart from you, Father. We ask these things in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the beauty of this covenant is that God is a faithful God who always keeps his promises. No matter how many times we choose another path or we go our own way, God is faithful to the covenant with which he makes with his people. There is nothing that will change his love or pursuit of us because he chose us to be his. Many of us heard over and over again last night how truly special the two of you are. Stephen, we heard how you make people feel free to be themselves and how you will drop anything to meet the need of a friend. Gracie, we heard about how you are such a good listener and one that your friends can trust with the light and the heavy. You really are a person people want in all circumstances. The covenant you make holds eternal significance because of the one with which you make this covenant before, God. He takes the covenants he makes with us incredibly seriously and calls us to do the same. He calls you to, in marriage, not to a mere commitment or contract, but to a covenant with which he has already demonstrated for us. Gracie, I asked Stephen what he wanted from you as his wife, and he said, quote, I really, really, really want her to be my biggest fan and to be proud of me. Grace, you are to be Stephen's most trusted counselor and advisor. You are to be his best friend, coming alongside him and encouraging him to ultimately become like Jesus. And this means pushing him when he is on the right track, but also rebuking him when it is needed to help him overcome his faults yet doing so, as Colossians says, with meekness and kindness. Stephen, I asked Gracie the same question of what she expects and wants from you as a husband. And Gracie responded with, quote, safety and a want to be wanted. Like when Stephen looks at me <laughs> and asks what is on our calendar for the next day, I legit get butterflies feeling like I'm needed by him and he relies on me just like I do on him is a great feeling. I want a companion to talk to and to serve as a place of comfort and conversation. I, Stephen, take you, Gracie, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Now that Stephen and Gracie have given themselves to each other in, by solemn vows, given and received rings as a pledge of their covenant, I now pronounce them husband and wife. Stephen, you may kiss your bride. It is my privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Peacock.
Gracie, Stephen told you that you were dancing Elvis, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not going to be Elvis tonight. Uh, well, I think he gave you a little poem earlier today, and that's just not just a poem. We're going to be singing a song that me and my best friend wrote for you. This song is called It's Saturday, We Just Got Married, and We're Dancing. Barefoot in the park, I looked up and knew that I won't believe. I just want to um, thank you all for coming. Um, like I said last night, uh, every single person that is here in this room tonight um, made Gracie and I the people that we are. Um, from, I mean, where we were born to the place that we're at now, I mean, all of you people have meant so much to us. And yeah, I mean, cheers to an awesome uh, wedding, but we're more excited about our marriage than our wedding. And uh, that involves y'all. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks. All right, cheers. Yeah. Steven, you bring out this childlike joy that is not clouded by the world. You make her smile like nothing else in the world. And when I'm with her, I want you to be there because you bring that out. And I love that so much. Guys, I just want to say beautiful ceremony. It was so wonderful. I love you. I'm so glad it's finally you know, happened and come to fruition. It's so beautiful to see. I love you. Hey, Stephen and Gracie. Uh, Wimbledon's pretty hot right now. There's a lot of good competition. Curios beat Sissy Poss at the quarterfinals. If you don't need any other updates, just let me know. Do yeah. you have anything to say yeah. to the beautiful yeah. couple? Say about weddings, right? <laughs> what do I say? Toast to the new bride and groom. May you never forget the gift of each other that God has given to you. And will you always honor the family you share, your faith in God, and a never ending love for each other. Here, here.
Oh, I love on Natalie. Oh, I love on Natalie. Hey, Steven. Hey, everybody. I love you. I love you. Oh, man. Uh, hey, you guys are awesome. Hey. Okay. Have a good you guys, night. I mean us in one year. Bye. Signing out. Gracie and Steven. Peacock. I turn it off. <laughs> what? Somewhere down there. <laughs>